I'd always to say, my name is Thomas. I'm an alcoholic. I've been sober for right, negative Thomas, two Thomas, hours. And we've, I... Thomas, we've had enough. Cording, you're on the air on the kill stream. <laughs> did you kick him? Yeah, I did. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Cording, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I'm in your... Uh, I, I, I hopped in your Discord, and I see a automatically in the NSFW chat, and what appears to be shoe on heads breasts. I don't I don't know anything about that. You can take that in lieu of the five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't no, know no, no, about no, that. no. I've already seen this image. No, it's gotta be five hundred, period. No, so it's not no. worth it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no. So you're here now. what's up? You know, it's been a it, I, I came in here looking for support. You know, it was not a great day for my home sports ball team. This is a sad day. I'm not going to lie. I watch your videos in 1.5 speed on a live stream. I can't do that. Can you speed it up? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> I that guess is, no. That's uh, allegedly. Monday Matt. That's yes. Monday yes. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Matt, I've seen your videos. I mean, they're kind of boring, but I appreciate the hard work you put in. You going to take that shit, Matt? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you're not mad. I've been so, working all day bo- getting rocks. <laughs> Boulders, not just rocks. No, they so- were little ones today. <laughs> <laughs> so you did you did have some things to say about uh about Keemstar. What what is your problem with Keemstar exactly? Who me? Yeah, I'm asking you. I mean, I, I honestly I don't get it. it maybe, maybe I'm I just not this YouTube scholar or whatever. But uh, Keemstar has never been anything but cool to me. I, I really don't understand why people have beef with him. I mean, he's pretty out front with everything he does. I, I don't really, I don't really get it. I'm not sure who anyone. I mean, like the beef was kind of from like two years ago, right? When people are shitting on him. I don't. Is there still a contingent of? I mean, just why? I mean, he seemed like. Disgusted with him. I, I don't know why. I'm, that's why I'm asking. You. I I've really, seen I'm, a video of yours where you were defending Philly D and criticizing Keemstar. Oh yeah, you were. You were kind of over the top on your fucking Twitter video. You're like, man, it's for the kids. That vi- that part. No, I'm talking about your video. Like you were, you yeah. were saying all kinds of shit that you shouldn't believe anything Keemstar says and blah blah. blah. What were nah, What were you on about? Said, Keem. Come on, Keem. What were you on about? Sad, what what was sad. your point? What was your point? <laughs> My point was that you're pushing G Fuel and, and bitching about Philly D and his uh, well, what's wrong with depressed G-Fuel? kids. What's thing. wrong with G Fuel? They're both they're both a scam. G Fuel's not a scam. I mean, I drink it to play video games and it helps. And I've been yeah. drinking it for well, like shit, five, six years. And I appreciate that, but there's really no nutritional value. There's no science behind it. Well, I'm not telling kids, guys, you don't need the carrots. You don't need the celery. Get some fucking G Fuel. I'm telling you. No, you aren't. If you You want an energy drink, you want a boost. If you want to focus (laughs) during gaming or whatever, get some G Fuel because it does help. It does work. So what's the scam? Well, to be fair, I've never seen you actually shill it. I just see it sitting on your set. But... G Fuel and some phony uh, uh, um, therapy bullshit online. They're the same thing. They're just YouTubers wait, trying to make money, dude. Hold on. Let me ask you this. Okay, so some G Fuel. Even if you think G Fuel is a scam, I've never drank G Fuel. I mean, it appears on the up and up. Whatever. I don't but know. It's still different than fucking Red Bull or whatever. Yeah, that's bullshit. what I'm saying. It's, it's a fucking drink. Stuff. So even if you think it's a yeah. scam, which I don't, I, but I've never had it. Who knows? Uh, but so even if you think it's it's some type of you know conspiracy, how is that the same as you know charging people unauthorized money on their debit cards for mental health? I mean that that seems to be a different level of uh, yeah. I gotta I, I gotta agree with Ralph. I mean the last time I checked, I don't drink G Fool, but the last time I checked, uh, you know going to buy it doesn't require me <laughs> yeah. to sign a fucking <laughs> waiver to give away my personal information for marketers and shit. No, no, that's a fact, but I'm saying like the service itself based on the reviews is subpar, but it's still a YouTuber just trying to make money. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, the idea that we're going to be so 
pearl clutchy that oh philly d totally masterminded this no we all know what happened okay 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 listen okay so you mean to tell me all right let's say uh jake paul gets exposed for selling black tar heroin to kids <laughs> not a problem with you because it's the same thing it's just youtubers trying to make money <laughs> yes what the fuck kind yes. of point is that that's a fucking logical point dude do you think what you can laugh as loud as you want to mask the fact that look, any television show, okay, any television show out there, do you think they give two shits about who buys ads? Yes, yes. They're, they're they do ads. actually. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. No, they have <laughs> no, no. If you turn on late night television, there's this fucking commercial and everyone's seen it is this guy who's like, uh, I was addicted to heroin, but now I'm not addicted to heroin. Buy into the healing network. Nobody gives a fuck about whatever ads are on TV. It's just because a YouTuber. Okay, so listen, it's different from. Okay, first off, uh, I'll disagree. They do actually care about who runs ads. Second off, Very it's easy. different from a an ad running on a program. Versus the host of the program holding up the fucking, you know, bottle or whatever the product is and saying, I take this, this helped me. Those are two different things. And that's what people were doing with BetterHelp. That's what Philly D, oh, I use BetterHelp. Nobody believes that. If, if you believe that, you're fucking retarded. Yeah, quartering. It's okay to say, hey, maybe I was wrong. But like, hey, if you want to keep doubling right, down, am I going to call like you Lean Star? Retarded. Go ahead. Whoever's going to speak, go ahead. Sorry, Keem, go ahead. I, I thought he killed some crickets with that one. Yeah, I Sorry. don't know. It went, it went, <laughs> it went really killed. quiet. Go go ahead, uh, whoever wants to talk. Keem or quarter? No, I mean, all I was saying is, um, you know, like, you, you can just say, okay, maybe I was wrong. You don't have to double down and make your, yourself sound like a retard. I agree with you, and my video came out before the double down. And my whole point was, and if you want to fairly represent my video, it was not to back better help i thought it's bullshit anyway but my point was as youtubers to act fucking outraged you know how many goddamn youtubers are advertising that bullshit cbd oil oh it's come on. money Co in this, no this is a world of difference all right first, no, it is yes it, i'll tell you fucking how first off philly d tries to promote the product as if it's some hands-off thing that he got approached about but then you find out he's part or he's He's partnered at a company level with them. He's setting up referrals through back uh, fucking channels to trick people basically to do it. it basically, it came out that he uh, got Boogie to do this by manipulating somebody that Boogie does business with. You find out that the service is taking personal information, personal, private, psychiatric conversations, and selling it for fucking AI, selling it for fucking marketing purposes. They're charging people ridiculous amounts. They lie to them about how it's charged. People aren't vetted like they're told that they're vetted. This isn't some asshole going out to drink some fucking rocket fuel in a bottle because he thinks he's going to slay pussy because of it. These are mentally <laughs> disturbed, you know, depressed, depressed fucking people that are being lied to, manipulated, having their money taken. And then they're having their data, their deepest, darkest fucking conversations sold to some faceless corporation that's going to use it to market to more sad, depressed fucking people. It is a world no. of difference between a soft drink that may or may not be a beneficial to your fucking health and a, a horrible fucking business uh, venture between a guy that knows he's doing underhanded shit, which it appears that he's doing, and manipulating people that are potentially fucking on the edge by telling them they're going to get services that aren't real, that don't benefit them, that might hurt them. I don't disagree that BetterHelp is bad. I never said it was good, but I'm saying, do you think that, um, in your opinion, that Philip DeFranco did or didn't use the service? And in my, no, in my, no, he no definitely did he not. Didn't. No, no, he didn't. Yeah. In my opinion, this is, uh, this, like, in my opinion, what I think probably happened, uh, let me be careful because I've been doxxed, so I don't want to get sued. <laughs> uh, uh, allegedly, let me stamp allegedly all over this. I That's think fun. allegedly, uh, Philly DeFranco took Patreon money and lied to people about setting up a news network to create a marketing well, company we agree. to we go agree. into business to take advantage of depressed people and make even more money. That's what I think happened. I don't think any of these fucking don't people think... that claimed that they used the service used it for shit. They saw a paycheck because... 
YouTubers think of their audience uh, as fucking retards when they do stuff like this. But Jim, Keemstar is doing the same thing. He's selling an energy drink to kids. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mimology. Yes, Look, you it has electrolytes. Which my plants meat. crave. Yeah, you have the yeah plants. Plants need. It's got everything plants need. But I mean, I'm saying he took the ad. So you believe you believe also that Boogie lied and said he used it. No, I well? believe what I I believe what I told Boogie when I initially talked to him, and I told him straight out to his fucking face. You have been manipulated. And if you're telling me that you're innocent and you don't really know this shit is going on, then somebody you do business with has taken advantage of you. Now, he swore that his manager loves him and that he would never get taken advantage of by an agent. And then it comes out that, oh, that's exactly what happened. That somebody was either that, Philly or somebody that Philly knew went through a back channel and basically got Boogie to do it. I think it's this incestuous shit where all these people have the same agents and managers and they all fucking know each other. And they look at YouTubers as dumb pay pigs. Right. You know, let's get into that Fendom stuff. Well, yeah. I don't know. I'm not big enough to have any of these, whatever these guys have. I, I agree that I think Boogie probably did try it and was like, whatever. Um, but also fundamentally, there's really nothing wrong other than you could say greed that uh, with Philly setting up an affiliate network for this service. When somebody pitched me a CBD oil thing last year, uh, thankfully, I didn't do the ad because they ended up getting everyone fucking strikes. But it was through another YouTuber who connected me with the the people, and and they were cool to pay. I think it was like two thousand bucks to do this commercial. And like, I just feel like, man, I can't really begrudge a YouTuber in this world, especially in our space, where it's really hard to even get. I, I do. I, I can absolutely. Oh. Right. So oh, I think, uh, I think if, if you want to sell, if you want to sell fucking soft drinks, if you want to sell dildos and DVDs, I don't give a shit. But if you're going to go along with a service that's basically trying to act like the last hope for fucking suicidal, depressed people, and it's bullshit just to get their data, that's that's a different level that we're talking about here. There's a separation between hawking fucking soft drinks and potentially taking advantage of depressed and maybe even suicidal people. Another point, which or... another point, which I'd like to make up, I've been a YouTuber for 10 years and it doesn't matter if you're the bad guy, if you're edgy, uh, if you do comedy, it doesn't matter what type of entertainment you put out there. Oh, there are is fans. There are fans that'll hit up every YouTuber and thank them. Say, Hey, I've been going through a hard time. I've been depressed. I've been doing this, you know, something bad happened in my life. And because of your content, I got through it because there's a huge number of people that are going through shit that escape real world problems by watching online entertainment. And there's someone in the chat right now at this kill stream that are watching this to escape some bullshit in their real life. So mm. to know that and to be a YouTuber like Philly D for 10 plus fucking years and know that, and then try to fucking go after target those people to get money and make a profit from, in my opinion is just disgusting. That's no. fair, but also, no. hey, can, can, I, sorry, can, can, can you hear me guys? By the way, let me introduce this person. It's memeology. 101 who has been all over the media, the news, PewDiePie, yeah, let, everywhere. Let go for it. He just absolutely it. fucking blew the lid off the BetterHelp story, and I just want to uh, give him a thank you. And uh, I mean, I'd like to think we kind of helped him uh, blow it up, but he was the one who was right there uh, at the cutting edge, and he's the one who started this whole fire. So, Ralph Brag. No, no, I mean, we did, I mean, we did kind of help him, but dude, he was already started. Like he had what? Yeah, yeah, it's I don't know. Good. A, it's just a good. six or seven time. part series, even before we even start on this, this guy's is, is a beast. So yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Me, Um, can you listen to me very well? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, good, good. So yeah, I want to talk to the court team right now. Pronounce yeah. your name correctly. Um, You're good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> dude, I need you. Somehow to he can do it, but Keem can't. Okay, so I need you to back up your claims. Uh, you were speaking about not holding YouTubers to the standards. But let me ask you this. Why do big YouTubers or any YouTuber whatsoever can benefit internet personality, you know, have all these uh, partners, uh, sponsorships, the accountability, then... When it comes to, you know, I, yeah, yeah, no, I, I get your point. And so to be, to be clear, if, 
you can put me in the position of defending Philly D if you want. Not you, Mimology, but I mean, I'm really not. I would not have promoted this service myself. In fact, I made a video criticizing it. But my whole approach to it is simply from a business standpoint. We're like, we're YouTubers. It's hard to make a living. It's hard. I mean, most people in the commentary space kind of rely on like super not hard if you're entertaining. <laughs> yeah, and plus a lot of these people we're talking about Philly D. This guy's rich as fuck. Like it's not it's not hard for him. I don't know. He didn't have to bullshit. take up this sponsorship. Just because he has money doesn't change how he He didn't have to take this. He he has a large That's array. Look, we're never gonna get a sponsorship on this show. I don't have to worry about it. But somebody like him, he's he's, he's a fucking millionaire, multi millionaire. There was no reason he didn't have to do this. It's not like he had to do this to feed his family. Well, and why are we dancing around the fact this isn't like a, a typical sponsorship where it's a company approaches a YouTuber and says, "Hey, we'll pay you to shill our product at the start or end of your That's video." That's probably how it started, though. No, no, no. Man. But he That's he said I partnered. He said I partnered with them at a company level. His marketing network, the company yes. he built, partnered with them. So it's not just a yeah. sponsorship, is it? And not at that point, no. And it is really not, it's kind of a predatory service. I feel like YouTube has a few products that it's just people don't like. Clearly, mental health is one. But it was not a good decision. But at the same time, I just feel for the guy as he's a multi million. He's man. worth 25 million. Yeah, you know, yeah. I no, know, but I'm saying, okay, he's listen, this is Lingo right now. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and speak slowly because I know my accent sucks ass. I so don't think right you. You're good, okay, dude. It's Fine. okay. We'll we'll keep you. We'll send Corey back. No, I'm just going to go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so people like Philip DeFranco, and this is my problem with him. I don't hate him as a person, but as a YouTuber, he supposedly has on the news team, and you are going to tell me 20 plus people didn't care to look on the terms of service. That means they didn't care. So, however you want to look at it, they fucked up. So, you know, feeling bad for Philip Franco, I don't feel bad for him. I or maybe it. feel bad. I may feel bad for small YouTubers that got this sponsorship and some money, and I do feel for them because they got this from people like the Franco that told them, "Hey, would you like to get this sponsor on your channel?" comes to your door knocking you're going to say yes well here's how that email here's how that conversation happened right philip defranco goes to several people he trusts including boogie and says yo you can get 5k a month advertising this oh, and that's the start and the end of it boogie's back no he didn't i talked to boogie dude he Boogie knew exactly what he was getting into. Let's be clear. Well, we're we're going on what, on yeah, we're going on what, and especially what DeFranco said, because he said that, didn't he say that he went through intermediaries for Boogie? Yeah, he did. He did. And yeah. Boogie, when he was on here, said the same thing, that he didn't even talk to Wait, him. So quarter imagine quarter that. Quarter. Imagine imagine Boogie deflecting blame. How could that happen? Oh, shit. Okay, what's your story? Come on, spit it out. Oh, you missed that one, too, huh? Yeah, V and uh, Boogie had an argument because uh, Quartering, I guess, oh, talked about a, a private conversation about, uh, again, a weird callback to the earlier conversations, but Bitcoin assassins. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, so you... I, I didn't hear Boogie. that. Did you call the police on Boogie? Yes, I did. Uh, damn, you're a bad friend to that dude. Isn't this like the third time you fucked him over? No, dude. What do you mean a bad friend? He called me and said he was going to kill himself. So I asked for a fucking uh, safety check. What's wrong with that? No. Did he say he was going to kill himself or did he say, yes. I, I wish somebody would send Bitcoin assassins to take me out? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I don't know what that's from. I don't know what that's from. But no. Okay, I mean, so what would you I, do? I'm sorry, I missed a big section. Can someone just please tell me what happened? Did Philly D go directly to Boogie? No, he didn't. Uh, Philly D and Boogie both said that it was handled through intermediate or intermediate. Yeah, but just accordingly, just said he said something completely different. No, I didn't. I said Boogie knew exactly what he was signing up for, and he knew exactly what the money was on the line. Well, no, see, he, not, knew, let, he knew. He no, 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 no. I mean, you can't put it like that because. 
if Boogie trusts his managers and if Philly went through a back channel to get the manager to basically say it's a good deal, Boogie trusts his manager and he probably felt that what he was signing up for was okay. There's only that's one person true. here. Yeah. yeah. There's only one person here that really has sponsorships or does that stuff. That's Keem. And I can't imagine that Keemstar is going to sell a product without at least looking into it a little bit before. So it's naive to say that uh, Philly, you know, DeFranco didn't know about any of this. He's Dude, not gonna I, screw went, his I went as far as shaving with Dollar Shave Club. And I rarely shave, but I had to shave like, you know, part of my arm to see if the razors actually worked. Right. But I mean, you're not going to you're not going to shill a product if you at least don't look to make sure the company's not like you said earlier selling black tar heroin or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, your career's in trouble. You know, like it's you got to be responsible. It's hurt. It's hurt Philly. And like I said, it was not. I've, I've always been on the side of saying I understand why he sent up with it. Yes. Better help suboptimal. And I put a video you know, saying that, but as much, but, uh, I don't see Philly D as some grand master super schemer. Maybe he is, maybe he's a, what do you call him, Ralph, a fake Italian? Maybe he's, maybe he's one of those. Well, he's obviously, Corey, let me that. tell you about that. Let me tell you about that. <laughs> Wait, one of what, what are you saying here? Corner? I don't know. I don't know. I just heard that on the street. What does that mean? A fake Italian? <laughs> I don't know. That's what people said. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, you, anyway, we'll let it slide. <laughs> uh, so what did you think about the leaks earlier? What leaks? Jim stuff? No, I mean, no, we were talking about the Andy stream. Yeah. Don't tell me I didn't, didn't hear it. <laughs> Quartering. No, I really did it. I really did. I know he did a stream talking about like Coach Red Pill's video calling me a pussy or something. No, but there I, was I a whole. No, else. no, 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 no. There, there was a there was a lot today. That's the whole purpose. Well, I mean, it was the stated purpose of this show, but you know, we ended up catch getting me into up. Some of the catch me up. Make it. Yeah, Does anybody I'll, want to I'll catch him up? Because yeah, I'm sure I, 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 I will. So it apparently, what happened was all the skeptics got together with Tonka Sauce so they could sell G Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> the as long as they use code team, I'm fine. <laughs> use code team. Uh yeah yeah so there's a bunch of leaks and I don't know uh, it looks like there's a lot of gay ops afoot and uh, looks like Sargon had a hand in the whole thing and um V got blown the fuck out by by Jim uh I know maybe he yeah can't. how how could you tweet about the V thing and not know where that came from uh, Andy had a whole host of fucking audio leaks coming from uh, Kraut and Tonka uh V popped in there Kraut Kraut wanted Kraut wanted um, uh, Sargon to show up. There's a there's a lot of shit, and then there's a whole yeah. Discord drop that's going on right now. Uh, it it's uh, just it's spectacular. I, I don't want to give too much away because I got Sunday Funday coming up. Oh, and by the way, yeah, uh, there was a super chat earlier. As Jim teased his outline to me, and I've seen it, and I, I think it will. Oh, be, King of Paul's going to be so jealous. I think it will be quite sumptuous tomorrow. Um, I don't so. get it. <laughs> I, oh God. I saw Andy. I saw some shit where Andy was requesting some nudes off somebody, but that that's that's not what this is, huh? Um, uh, no, no. Andy had asked uh, the representative of G Fuel if he could get some tit pics before he uh, agreed to sponsor. <laughs> to sponsor the that's isn't that normal? That's what I mean. That feels like a solid. No, it's so weird because no, they just all they did instead was just send him black tar heroin, and he was like, "Whatever, it's the same thing. I'll sell it." Yeah, okay. in quarterly's team. video, he said G Fuel is bad God. because you just piss out the vitamins. It doesn't have a uh, nutritional value, what? and he heard this from his trainer. Isn't that correct? That's correct. Not my trainer, but uh, that's, somebody that's the scientist that he brought. Yeah. Oh, um, a, a trainer, not your back trainer. Back up, a trainer. <laughs> No, clearly not my if the trainer. Trainer was so good, you'd be fit. <laughs> I don't think he's not good. <laughs> But that I didn't say it was my trainer. Okay, whose trainer was it? Just a nutritionist who's the same thing as taking a hundred vitamins, dude. Like, if you want to go science for science on G Fuel, you're gonna lose. I'm saying I don't judge you for shilling G Fuel, just like I don't judge. I'll, I'll, go, I'll, Billy go, D. I go, I'll go science for science on G Fuel because the point of G Fuel is to get a little boost, it's for a pick me up. And that's what it does. 
you know, you, you, I mean, I don't know what more I could say. It's an energy drink. You, you can compare uh, G Fuel to BetterHelp. It's not apples to apples. They're both garbage. Oh, but see, it's so, it's so weird that, yeah, yeah it, it's, it, okay. you could say that G Fuel's garbage if you want, but again, BetterHelp is a different fucking level of trash fire. Yeah, let's, ask, let's ask another category. question. Have you tried G Fuel before? Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. You, oh, so what flavor? I have three different. I had the fruit punch and I had like the lemon lime. And it's so, just, so I, it's honestly, like, it's about this. What was the effect? Oh, like, what was the effect? About the same as an energy drink. Like, okay, okay. Yeah, that's energy drinks point. aren't good for I'm, you either. That's what I'm selling. I'm selling a fucking energy drink. But Keem, I'm not shitting on you for selling that. My whole point is just a pure capitalist outlook. Like, look, energy drinks, if you sell uh, CBD oil, I don't give a fuck because whatever yeah, you're channel saying CBD I'm watching, oil does nothing, but you're saying G Fuel does something. No, 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 I'm saying they're both garbage. But you just said you had the same effects as an energy drink. Yeah, I did. I did. Okay, but I so it works. It's done its job. It's done what it's supposed to do. For fuck's sake, Quartering, don't be so autistic. Like, for it, one's an energy drink, a drink, and the other is preying on fucking people who are at their lowest point. There's a complete difference in it. I, I really have to say, you know, Quartering, you're getting G Fuel, like, $20,000 of free advertising with your dumb comparison. <laughs> like, in the fucking it's the fucking, minute spot. It's so stupid. What the fuck are you doing? You think actual therapists out there, if you go on, like, uh, there are many websites where you can find a therapist, you think all therapists are garbage? Do you even know if they're therapists on, on better health? No. Because that was a big issue with who you're getting no, services you don't. from. Jim, yeah, you don't know, but you also don't know who the fuck you go on these therapy networks and you you get hooked up with a therapist. We're not talking about therapy. The credentials We're specifically are talking about better help, though. Yeah, I was going to say, who said all therapists? Therapy was garbage. I don't think anybody said that. Uh, well, that's the product, right? That's the product BetterHelp is selling. You can say no, BetterHelp is garbage no, without no, saying no. everything else is garbage. Like, I mean, it's not the same thing. That's right? incorrect, let me, clarify, let me clarify this for you. The product of BetterHelp is not the therapy. It's the therapist. Yeah, right. I'm saying, are you saying all therapists are garbage then? Uh, uh, okay, let, no, me, let, me, let me answer Go this ahead. for you. Go okay, ahead. so basically, think of it this way, right? If you go and, uh, you know, you grab a scoop of G Fuel and you drink a G Fuel, it's going to be the same every time. If you go to BetterHelp and get a therapist, you might get a good therapist, but you might get someone that doesn't even show up. Or you might get somebody whose real-time job works at McDonald's and has no education at all and just lied to get the job. They're going to supersize that's your true. depression. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's true. But they're not that's selling true. therapy on their website. They're just selling a service. Yeah, it's it's, it's it's a really weird argument. It'd be like if I said Mass Effect 3 is dog shit, and you're like, oh, so all video games are dog shit? No, I'm talking about Mass Effect 3 being dog shit. Better help is dog shit. Right. I'll, I feel like, I mean, I'm forced in a position defending a service I have publicly said I don't like. So okay, why are you doing it? I mean, look, I mean, I have look, I have no problem with you actually done some cool stuff, but but what you know is concerning me. You know, Buzzfeed put out a hit piece on me. But what what you know, nobody made you, you know, force you into this this position. Why are you doing it? Like, I mean, uh, you asked me to come on, dude. I'm yeah. Happy I mean, I want you here, but I didn't say defend better help. Like you did that yourself, right? I mean, I'm not. I'm I'm defending Philly D for ch he. But made why? A bad why are you defending this guy? You, you think he even knows who you are? I'm not saying that in a rude way. He, why would Why would I defend somebody just for personal gain, Ralph? Is that why I, I don't understand? You? No, but I'm just saying, why are you defending him at all? Like I, I don't see he has any legs to stand on this. LED must have got hit by a dude in a dress, and these guys are in AA together or some shit. Support some, group. Some of the tests. Ralph's things. drunk as fuck. Ralph <laughs> Ralph is definitely getting there, but but I just don't understand why you like what. I'm not saying that you have to have a benefit to, to defend somebody, but just all the available evidence says he's full of shit and he tricked YouTubers. He, he fucking went around boogies back. That's on fucking stream. That's on, you know, that's documented. Keem's right here. I mean, he saw the same thing I did. His video flat out admits that he went around boogies back. 
knowing that he was going around Boogie's back, just to have him as a sponsor and to get him as an you know an affiliate sponsor without him knowing yeah, Boogie, it. Yeah, Boogie's you know what? So and I've said this before. I thought Boogie was full of shit when he came on this show and said, oh, "I don't know, you know, I don't know who the fuck. I don't, I don't know how. I don't know how I'm Philly DeFranco. Yeah, okay. I don't know how right. Philly DeFranco's link got on my shit." I said. You know, my first instinct is Boogie's full of shit. Boogie's lying to me right now. But actually, you know, based on what Philly D said, Boogie was telling the truth. But he Even still ca- he still cashed a check and made the video. Yeah, well, you know what? You know what else he did? He, he put out a video subscriber. and said, I'm going to take all the money I made from that and donate it to charity. And that was yeah, one only of my, after he got roasted. Well, by the you know what? Stream. You know, <laughs> we, can't, we can't always be perfect. That was one of my no, original no. ideas when You're Andy came on here. When. Yeah, exactly. When Andy came on here and he he you know kind of helped blow the lid off Better Help, I said, you know what, you know you know a way to make this better would be take the money you made from Better Help, donate it to charity. And yeah, uh, Andy, a, Andy, a, I love, by the way, I love Andy, but he said, you know, I'd rather buy cocaine with that. And of course, you know, he's joking, kind of. Yeah, but he he legit said that. But Boogie actually took it up, you know, took took up that case and said, I'm going to donate it to charity. So. And, and that's not a slam on Andy. I mean, he, he said that as a joke. I don't know what he did with the fucking money. But Boogie actually said, okay. you know, I'm going to donate the money. And I have I still have problems with Boogie. That's not to defend him or shield him or whatever. But he actually said, I'm going to take this. I'm going to donate half to St. Jude and half to whatever fucking charity, whatever the other fucking charity was. So, you know, I mean, I, I have respect for that. Yeah, it was the only thing he could do there. I just, I'm just saying like, and I think it sounds like we agree. You know, Boogie got paid. He did the video. Well, he said, and I believe him that he used the service. He probably did. You know. Now let me ask you something. Just, out, just to completely, hopefully. yeah, we could talk. We could talk about this forever. Just to sidetrack it, Boogie. Boogie said you guys are still friends. Is that true? Yeah, we are. You still talk to him often? Yeah, I talked to him today. He just got fucking um, deplatformed. From, really? From, uh, some D and D thing. Yeah, yeah. There's some. I have a video, I'm gonna do a video on Monday probably about it, but some D and D thing where he was supposed to be some you know guest of honor, uh, they disavowed him because of the shit he said on H three H three. After after advising him, <laughs> wait, which, which was it? He man. said on H three H three was yeah, it about yeah, eating? That? Was it about eating cherries out of the hooker's pussy or or what? What was it exactly that he said on H three H three? Do you remember that story? I, Am I the only one that remembers yeah, this? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there are other people in this call right now. I'm not the only no, one who's fucking. Rem- he said that. He said he he said he ate. Was it five cherries out of out of however the many pussy? she could stuff up there? That's uh, hold so them like out a, by the stem. It's like a health hazard. No, no offense to Boogie. I'm not. I'm not slamming him, but that, that was just. I'm a gonna need. Stem. I'm gonna. You know, Keemstar. Can I get some G fuel? Because <laughs> I gotta watch the puke out of my fucking mouth after hearing that story. <laughs> you know, I will send you it, my personal flavor cotton candy used cookie. <laughs> personal stash. There, there you go. There you go. Uh, but yeah, what what he got disavowed or what what happened? Some uh. He was supposed to be <clears throat> on some live stream D and D. Must have been like I don't know what the fuck. I never heard of it. But all I got was um, they announced <laughs> that he would be doing it, and then two hours later they said, "Oh, we're actually recasting everybody." They didn't actually say that they deplatformed him, but they did. He told me it was because of Wizards of the Coast, the people that make D and D. Uh, I don't, didn't like I don't them, get it. Those fucking companies that you're talking about, no one knows who the fuck they are. They're so small. Boogie is known by millions of people, literally. Why Why even make a big deal about it? Who cares? Well, which is the cost is very large. But How large? I don't know either. That, well, they own all of D&D and all of Magic the Guy. It's a $100 million, $200 million company owned by Hasbro, oh, who's a oh, billion dollar company. Well, that's, I'm, I've had sex before. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> sure okay all right good hot take but the so the this rpg sports anyway long story short i talked to him today about this because they had put him on the panel used his name for promotion and then disavowed him because he didn't disavow gamergate is basically what i what what i was told by boogie so they kill right him <laughs> He used them to get money and then threw them off the website in the event. Yes. Yeah, exactly. If you look up RPG Sports TV on YouTube, you'll see the 
the comment. They don't mention his name, but it's absolutely about him. You know, it's really weird, too. Uh, when uh, Boogie and V were going at it, V was pretty adamant saying, why didn't you back up the quartering, you know, y- uh, about the Magic the Gathering judges and stuff? And Boogie told him, oh, no, I did. I put out a statement saying, you know, this, this, and this. And it looks like, you know, he's getting the uh, the pushback on that now, I guess, if they're deplatforming him from events that is hosted by the company. Yeah, he, he put out as what I could say is as fair of a piece of support. You know, it wasn't exactly like, hey, fucking roast these pedophiles. But it was, you know, boogie level support. And um, that's absolutely true. Wizards of the Coast is a company that makes D&D. And my sources tell me that they're the ones that were like, no, he can't be the face of our company, which is insane because obviously he has a huge following. But he, I believe him that it all stems back to that. Yeah, that would make sense to me. Ralph, did you have that audio of the Oofcast? I'm sorry, I need I this do. conversation. I do. Do you, want, do you want me to play that? <laughs> yes, please. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, before that, uh, Ralph, can you see, can you look at the side chat? Ralph just Someone about sending out of it, something. I'll be honest with you. But yeah, go ahead. Uh, can you check the side chat? Someone um, sent me something for the quartering. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Um, it was it was from Spectre talking about doxing or whatever. Is that is that what you're talking about? Yeah, he's yeah. saying a uh, Specter zero six that the uh, quartering accused him of toxing him, and that he keeps ignoring the issue, and he wants you to prove it. Oh yeah, yeah. No, this is what the dude did, and and this is the most attention he'll ever get in his life. But I mean, so thank you for bringing him up. But he went through some court documents, and look, he doesn't have to blur my address, but he did. He didn't. I'm sorry. He didn't. He doesn't have to. But he very easily could have skipped it over. And so now everybody who's seen that video has my goddamn home address. So I appreciate him making that video and I appreciate the 5,000 people who will now go watch it. All right. So let, let wait, me wait. Say- so he didn't dox you because it wasn't a public court document, right? That's right. He, he made a video sharing my home address on a, on a legal public document. That's still oh, a public never- document. All right. That's still fucked. You're welcome, yes. Spectre. Well All right, so if you look at my last, the thing, the last thing I put in the sidebar, that's the video I'm about to play. So I'm going to play that video, and then I'm going to read Super Chats, and then I'm going to just like... Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to terminate the Take stream after that. Right. Thank-